The first men's semifinal of the 2019 GNAC Basketball Championships goes to Seattle Pacific, winning their 11th game in a row with an 89-81 victory over Northwest Nazarene. Joining us in the postgame press conference is head coach Grant Leap and junior Gavin Long. Coach, first of all, congratulations on the victory, advancing to the Saturday final. A hard-fought game, just like the past two have been against the teams in the regular season. Yeah, we and we obviously we just played them on Saturday. We knew their capabilities to score. Um, obviously, with the all-conference honors coming out and and arms being, I mean, deservedly the player of the year, Megwell was first team. We knew that these guys could score, but at the same time, we felt like we had some things that we could do better than them and put them in tough situations too. And I, I credit the balance that our group has, the togetherness that our group has. Um, it just I thought it shone through tonight. And when when they came out and hit us hard and fast and early. Our group didn't panic. They stayed composed. You know, we've got guys that have been through those things now, and that experience really showed itself tonight. Gavin, one of Northwest Nazarene's trademarks has been very stingy defense, and you were able to get around it for a career-high 27 points. Mm -hmm. Talk about what you were seeing from them on the defense and how you were able to get to the bucket as many times as you did tonight. Uh, you know, they yeah, they're all they just get their hands on everything. You know, they got a bunch of lengthy guards and quick guys, and they like to get turnovers. And I just tried to you know be strong with the ball. You know, I knew you know playing them on Saturday, we knew that they they capitalize on turnovers pretty well. So I just try to keep just be strong with it when I'm going to the hoop. Gavin, your team uh, came up empty on the first five possessions, five missed shots, and a turnover. Uh, went almost four minutes without scoring, and then you hit a three. How, first, how important was that three, and did it come in the offense, or did you want to make a play there? Uh, you know, I mean, I think we were getting good shots in the start of the game. They just weren't falling, but, you know, hitting that three, it kind of, you know, it's nice to see one go through, and it kind of got us going a little bit. And, you know, it's just I, I, my teammates were finding me, so it's just coming into offense, you know, and it's just, just doing my best to hit them. Coach Lee, last Saturday's win, you out-rebounded them by 17. Tonight, the margin was still in your favor, but just six. What did you do to make up for that uh, not as dominant on well, the glass? You know, we looked at the box score from Saturday. We had 24 offensive rebounds. I think the biggest thing that we did was we just made more <coughs> shots, which really helps. Uh, I'll, I'll sacrifice some offensive rebounds if it means that we're going to make a few more buckets. But, um, you know, Gavin just stepped up. I mean, a career high in a big game. Um, he's done that for us all year. He's been lights out the last month or so, uh, both ends of the floor. Um, but when we get a couple shots to fall, you know, obviously basketball is a game of runs and a game of rhythm, and we had a really good rhythm going there for a pretty long stretch. And when we do that, I mean, we have some really beautiful possessions where everyone's touching the ball. Um, I, one of the press breaks we had really stands out in my mind. I don't know that it touched yeah. the ground, but maybe one time, and we get a layup on the other end, and then that was the, you know, we didn't see much of that press anymore. Uh, other till the end of the game when they had to kind of get us uh, get us in foul, um, but I was just really proud of the way our group responded tonight to to their really early uh, onslaught offensively. For either of you, last night in the quarterfinal game, NNU did not have a turnover in the second half. Tonight, you turned them over 12 times in the second half. Why were you so effective defensively? Been playing. Uh, you know, we're just you know getting out and playing hard. You know, it's just we came out slow and. I mean, once we get into the zone, it's hard. You know, we got a lot, lot of you know lanky guys. You know, we start a big lineup, and we have a lot of guys who can move, and it's just tough. You know, when we're playing defense and trying to you know just turn them over. So, yeah. I thought I thought our group did a nice job tonight too. We switched our defenses up a little bit. We were playing some zone and some man, but then our discipline um, off the ball I thought was really good. We were just kind of in the right spots. So as they tried to drive stuff, they were into another body. With that link, like Gavin said, we can create some turnovers that way. But um, I think so much of it is just being to the right places. Right. Um, you're going to the GNAC championship game. Your thoughts on that? Uh, I'm excited. You know, we came here to get two of them, so I'm you know, I'm ready to go. You know, we we want this, and we've been talking. This is one of our goals from the beginning of the year, and we're just ready to go. Yeah, this group this group has fought through a lot together. So for them to get to this point, I'm really excited about it. But at the same time, I think they're still hungry. And we still have some things that we feel like we need to prove. So um, we're going to get ready to watch this one. And we, we got some work to do still. Uh, we're going to continue to work to get better. And we're, we're excited about this opportunity. Gavin, the end of January, your team had lost three straight games. Uh, <coughs> since then, you've won 11 straight. But back then, did it? this seem you know, nearly an impossible feat that you'd be heading for the GNAC championship game? 
Uh, no, I don't think so. You know, we we know who we got on our team. You know, we've we've had the core, same core group for the past couple of years now. We know how good we are. You know, I think a lot of people, you know, maybe doubt us, but we never doubt our, um, ourselves. So it's just we told ourselves when we lost those three that we could get the the back half of the of the GNAC, and we went and got it. You know, and we're here, and we're still playing hard. Can you pinpoint what has been the key to this eleven game winning streak? What's what's been going right for this squad? Uh, I just think our team chemistry, you know, it's just we've really come together and a lot of our, uh, you know, everyone's playing to their strengths and everyone's sharing the ball and it's just we're seeing the dividends, you know, it's just not what you can't key in on one guy. We just got, you know, so many guys. You know, I, I just love how deep our group is and we know I, I, and I think our, our group has started to identify with that, too. But we know that if hey, if I didn't, you know, if I messed up on one play, it's, it's going to be all right because I got a teammate that's going to pick me up and. You know, even the guys that come in off the bench tonight, you look at that. I mean, Devontae, Sam Boone, Sam Simpson, Sharif Khan, those guys, when they come off the bench, they can contribute something. We don't play any guys that, that give us nothing. We get something from all those guys, and we can maintain the pace of play at a high level uh, for all 40 minutes. We don't really have much of a drop-off when we go to our bench, which is something we've really prided ourselves on and tried to develop. Not getting too far ahead, there is one more game to be played tonight, but you'll be playing either Western Oregon or St. Martin's in the final, both of which are very good teams, just like yourselves. What are you going to be looking for tonight as you sit and watch this last semifinal game? You know, just the continued trends of what teams have done, um, whether it's concepts or new actions that maybe they've put in or installed, um, how they're attacking different things. Uh, you know, it's, it'll be this will be interesting to see because their Western Oregon does such a great job defensively. St. Martin's is such a great offensive team. So um, we'll see if we get any any tips to maybe any new actions or new new things that teams are doing to attack different concepts. Uh, yeah, you know, just looking to see how teams are playing. You know, we saw it last night. You know, NNU they they had a press on Simon Fraser, and we're just trying to pick up anything we can. You know, just learning from watching the game. Head coach Grant Leap and Gavin Long from the Seattle Pacific Falcons. They are headed to the GNAC Championship after a 89-81 win over Northwest Nazarene in the semifinals. Congratulations, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, thanks you. a lot, guys. Thanks.